guys, welcome back to Dawn with the Whisk. Today we are going to make Rotel Dip. Okay, and this is super, super simple and easy. All you're going to need is a block of Velveeta or similar fake cheese, um, two cans of Rotel. You can get spicy Rotel, you can get original Rotel, mild Rotel, whatever your preference is. And a bag of Doritos to eat it with. This is super simple and easy. Like, it might not even be long enough for a whole video, honestly. So, to start, we're going to take our melt and dip, open the package. Don't worry about it, if you have to tear it, we're going to use the whole block. helps with um, portioning it for the layers in the bowl. And we're just going to start slicing. It's a stick to my knife. Actually here. I'm going to make the dip here in this bowl. And as I slice it, I'm just going to layer the slices in here. And you can eat this with any kind of chips. Um, tortilla chips, uh, corn chips, Fritos, different flavors of Doritos, but I prefer it with the Doritos. Let's see. Normally it doesn't stick to this coin. I guess I normally get Velveeta. Maybe the texture is a little bit different. But we don't really care about the brand as long as it tastes good. And we are on a budget right now, okay? Have you seen the price of groceries? Have you seen the paychecks coming in? Mm -mm. We get in Walmart brand. And we're going to be happy about it. So that's the first half. So what we're going to do now is take a can of Rotel. And open it up. And you can also, use, I think Walmart has a brand of Rotel. I just happen to have this one in my pantry. And before we pour this in, we're going to drain the liquid off of this one can. Over to your sink. Just drain. Give it all, but it's most of it. Okay, I'm gonna come back and just jump it in. Alright. Now, I'm gonna come back and slice up the other half. The weather's been changing, my asthma is acting up, so I'm coughing a little tiny bit. I'm just gonna arrange these slices back in here. Cover up all that good rotel. Some people even cook hamburger meat or shredded chicken and layer it in here with their Velveeta and their Rotel. 
and you could totally do that. Like, you can do anything with these recipes, customize it to however you like. You can even take, um, like, fake meat substitutes and add in this if you wanted. So now we have a good layer on here. So I'm going to stop for a second. Grab our other can of Rotel. This one we're not going to drain the liquid off of. We're just going to pour it directly in here. chop up this last little bit just add on top and I am not spot I keep saying Rotel and Velveeta I am not sponsored by any of these brands it's just you know they're known by those names, even if there are other brands of them, like a fridge. You know, a fridge is a refrigerator, but that was called a fridge by Frigidaire. It's just the name of it. That's what we call it. So that's done. Set your knife and all aside. Ooh, wipe up a little bit of cheese in the little shop there. Now, that's done. We're going to microwave this in five minute intervals until it is completely melted. Pop this in. Set it for five minutes. Clean up some of our mess here while we wait. What is your favorite, like, chip dip? Like, I love, um, Rotel dip, but I also love, like, any, like, spinach and artichoke dip and, ooh, even hummus and, like, pita chips. But, like, what's your favorite? Because I get a love bit. You get tongue-tied. <laughs> Let me know your favorites in the comments, and I'll see if there's one I want to do a video on. So I'm always looking for new recipes and ideas. Four minutes left on this go around. Go ahead. Wash the things that I used. I get my um, spatula ready to stir that um, cheese dip with when it comes out of the microwave. Go ahead and wash the side. left on our dip here. different little recipes you can make with their um, the Velveeta or the, the Melton Dip. There's a different type of queso. Ultimate Loaded Baked Potato. That sounds really good. 
or a mac and cheese, a tuna melt on a ciabatta roll, Tex-Mex pizza, melt and dip, buffalo chicken dip. It's all pretty interesting. And we ate this all the time growing up, either like as a meal or side of a meal or just as a big snack. <coughs> a very exciting video for you guys right now. Oh. I was going to make another video right now, but I decided I really wanted a snack, and that was going to be um, some lemonade. So I decided, let's go ahead and make this hotel do it. And actually, I bought the groceries for this last night, and I got home, and I was hungry. I didn't really want to cook anything, <coughs> and I kept walking through the kitchen. I'd see this bag of Doritos sitting here, and I was just like, I could have one, or two, or a handful, but I knew that would turn into the whole bag in one sitting and without even realizing it, so I just had to like hide it from myself. Now we're down to 15 seconds. <coughs> Alright, let's see how it looks. A little bit toasty. So you see the cheese is all kind of melty, you've got your rotel in between, the liquid from the cans. So now we're going to give it a big stir, but you see the cheese is still not melted all the way, it's big chunks. So what we're going to do is just stir it up really good to combine it. Scrape everything off, the spoon, <coughs> off your spoon. Your spatula. Okay, I'm gonna set this over here. I'm gonna use that cardboard as a spoon rest because I don't know where mine went actually. And we're gonna pop this in for another five minutes, and that should be all it needs. too big for this dip, but it'll be fine. It's actually one of my, um, from my J-Dye collection. I collect, um, well, I say I collect vintage, you know, green glass J-Dye pieces, but I only have one actual vintage piece. It's a old J-Dye mug, but I have a whole bunch of reproduction, um, Pioneer Woman and Martha Stewart pieces on my dining table. Pause it and let you guys skip ahead so you don't have to wait another four minutes of me rambling. Alright, so the microwave has about 30 seconds left. So we're almost ready to eat our dip. Ten more seconds. And this is, I mean, like I said, this dip is really easy and you can customize it in so many different ways. You can add, you know, beef or chicken or even like fake, <coughs> fake meat substitutes. You could add a packet of taco seasoning to it. You could add even um, 
You could drain a can of corn and add to it if you wanted to. Like, there's so many different ways you could dress this up. I'm gonna grab a pot holder. This is very hot. Let's see if this is good enough or if it needs to be cooked a little more. I think once it's all stirred together, yep, I think we're good to go. Let's see, there's a few chunks of cheese left in here actually. I think they've all, <laughs> I think they're melting though. I give it a good stir. But you don't want to overcook it and burn the cheese and all. That looks pretty good. Okay, so you can eat this two ways. You can either take a chip, dip it directly in, and snack. But since this is going to be my lunch, a very, very, <coughs> very unhealthy lunch, but a delicious lunch nonetheless, I'm going to take a bowl here, I'm going to layer in some Doritos, and let me find a big spoon for that. Spoonful of our cheesy rotel dip. Just pour it on. Mm, does it look so good? Okay. Then take another. Get, <coughs> I'm sorry, we're coughing so much, y'all. Big handful of chips. Just a bit more on top. Mm, now that looks really, really good. Just take you a spoon or a fork. Just start eating, or you can pick up your little chips. But that is how you make <coughs> cheesy rotel dip. It is so good, y'all. Gotta try this. And like I said, you can have this as a whole meal if you want. You can have it as a side to your dinner. You can have it just as a snack. Take it to a party. Make it for movie night. I mean, there's you know so many ways you can enjoy this. Thank y'all for watching. I'm glad you made it this far. Be sure to like, and share, and subscribe. You know, if you have friends who like to cook or bake, tell them about my channel. Um, Hit the little notification bell, that way it'll tell you every time I post a new video so you can see a new recipe. Also, be sure to tell me again, like, what is your favorite chip and dip combo in the comments, and I will go through and see if there's one I want to, you know, make for you guys. <laughs> Until next time, thank you for watching.